have a brand new Diablo 4 XP farm. And yes, this one is much better than the last and much easier to do, especially for those solo players, but this one can be both done in a group and solo. And there's also an AFK part to it, so you can literally earn XP while you're AFK. But let's just jump right into it. What's up, world? Here, back in another video, today we're checking out all things Diablo 4. Okay, so let's just jump into the first part of it. The first part, essentially, you're gonna have to be doing something for an hour, or you don't have to go the full hour, but that is when it's going to occur. And I believe this can happen every other hour, but essentially, once you get to world tier 3, there is something called Hell Tides. Now, I'm sure you know, okay, do the Hell Tide, whatever, be in the Hell Tide, but there's a few things with that. We're only farming one thing in specific we're not farming the entire hell tide zone and we're not farming all the mobs in the zone now if you do come across like an elite or something like that you're more than welcome to take it down and it does offer a decent amount of xp but what we're going to be doing is we're going to actually be just farming the events inside the hell tide zone so we're going to be going from event to event farming these events that essentially give around a hundred thousand xp for about a minute or a minute and a half of your time but they're usually super super quick and they give a ton of loot they also give the obel which are absolutely insane for claiming legendaries and then you can also use your cinders to go get even more legendaries this is essentially doing a couple things under one umbrella thing so not only are you farming the legendaries but you're also farming tons of gold and a bunch of ovals to roll on your gear also a super easy way to find these events to make sure that your rooting is correct is to just use a map so i'm gonna have a bunch of links to a bunch of different maps that you can use down below and the one that i primarily use but yeah, essentially you can quickly alt-tab or even have it up on a second monitor to see where the events are and kind of plan your route. I usually go in a circle and if the events start to run out or if they're too difficult then I'll re-instance or leave the game and come back. Now not, this isn't the only part of the farm, so obviously we're going around to do the event stuff, but there is another portion of the farm. And so for some reason or another, I'm not sure what it is, if it's close player or if it's something in the area, but essentially you're earning AFK XP by just being in the Helltide zone. Now again, I'm not sure if this is dependent on who you're around or if other players need to be around you. However, I tried to find players around me and there wasn't any and I was still gaining the AFK XP or at least my, my XP bar was going Going up which was definitely weird that I was just in the Helltide zone, wasn't attacking any mobs or doing anything, and I was gaining XP. So what my recommendation for that is if you do want to AFK XP farm, or if you're gonna go get, you know, some food or whatever it is, I would plant your character, if the Helltide zone is up, I'd plant your character in the Helltide zone, somewhere where it's populated, in case this is dependent on other players. Also, if you're having a hard time either finding the event, or when you're AFK, if you're not gaining any XP, because maybe it is because of other players, then you can easily leave the game you in fact you won't even lose your cinders you can leave the game out and rejoin back in you won't lose any of your cinders from the events or from the hell tide zone itself you'll keep all of the cinders upon logging out and logging back in now i'm not sure if there's a duration to this or if you need to be logged in at a certain period of time however your cinders should be there if you just need to log out quickly like for potions and things of like that in fact that's a quick tip if you don't need to repair you can easily just log out and log back in or head back to town for potions and easily use your teleporter to get right back in case you're running running out because these mobs are quite high they're going to be two levels higher than your current character so you will be potting quite frequently and you will need to use your potions unless you're using a tank build now there's also a second part to this farm this is not only with the hell tides because what do you do once the hell tides are over and sometimes i've noticed that they do skip an hour or it seems like they're not every hour or every other hour and so in the meantime we have to be doing something and i would recommend doing nightmare dungeon now before we did the last farm the mobs were actually pretty nice because they were two levels usually higher than you as well however with nightmare dungeons you can actually dictate what level the mobs will be technically because depending on the tiers is depending on what level they'll be so currently for tier 3 world a tier 10 dungeon nightmare those mobs will be level 63 so i think the base level was 53 so 10 levels above that or 10 tiers above that will be then 63 so you can designate this basically depending on your level and for me a good comfortable range is between three and five levels above me and those mobs give a ton of xp because of how much higher level they are and they're scaled to that xp and not only are the nightmare dungeons really 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 good for xp especially when you get those higher tiers and 
you push them even higher, but you're also leveling your glyphs, and you're really going to want to be doing that anyway, and doing those other dungeon runs or those split runs can be kind of a waste because you're not upgrading your glyph at all, and you will need to go back to do these dungeons and farm these nightmare dungeons in order to upgrade your glyphs. However, if you are a higher level, you do get more XP for the glyph, so you are essentially skipping some steps there if you do push to level 100. However, this does seem like the fastest way to level, especially if you can handle yourself with 3, 4, and even 5 levels above you with enemies. Now, I also read some comments on Reddit, just some quick tidbits for like nightmare dungeons and dungeons in general. You can always teleport out to leave, just don't leave the dungeon and use the town teleporter or use the T key. Not sure what it is on council, but you can easily just teleport back to town and teleport right back inside of the dungeon where you were just at. And you won't lose any progress. I saw somebody saying that they were stuck, so you can easily teleport back to town, just don't leave the dungeon first. Because if you leave the dungeon first, at that point the dungeon can get reset if more than a minute, and you will seemingly probably lose progress, however I don't know if it's any different for a nightmare dungeon, it might be. However, you, for usual dungeons or for regular dungeons, if you do leave too early, then it will actually reset it. Now a few tidbits with the nightmare dungeon. I did encounter a bug on my first nightmare dungeon, and we weren't able to instance, essentially everybody tried to instance in, and it kept kicking us back out. So my recommendation, if you are having any problems loading into a nightmare dungeon, or if you're encountering any issues, I would let the party leader enter the instance first, that's what we were started to do. The party leader doesn't matter who queued up the nightmare dungeon, but if you are in a group and you are getting uninstanced, then you're going to want to have the party leader instance first. It doesn't, again, doesn't matter who queued it up, just have the party leader instance first, wait for them to be fully loaded, and then everybody else can join in. The specific dungeon that I had issues with was Feral's Den. Again, not sure if it's designated to that dungeon, but there are many Reddit posts about there being issues with some nightmare dungeon queues. Again, that typically happens when you're with a group, so I'm not sure if that happens when you're solo. If you need any help on a sorcerer with these type of events or anything with the capstone dungeons, I do have a full build guide on my channel for an ice build sorcerer, and it is really, really good for single target damage and basically all content. I also might check out a firewall build, but I'll have that up a little bit later. Now, just a few quick tips for the Helltide section is that if you do end up getting eliminated, you will lose half of your cinders. So be careful on that if you do care for the legendary farm. You want to stay alive as long as you can, and if you can, try to turn in before. I always, if I have the specific amount, I just run over to whatever chest they want, which, by the way, all the chests are located on the map with a little white dot. So just look out for those. I didn't know that. I thought you had to go around to each of the chests and find where they were, but they're actually labeled on the map for you and you can just hover over them and that'll tell you kind of what specifically they are. The protection means obviously gear, then jewelry means jewelry, but for the weapon stuff there is light and heavy weapons so be careful when reading that because if you want a specific light or heavy weapon which is essentially either a one hand or a two hand depending on the class then you'll want to go to either the light or the heavy. So for a sorcerer if you want a wand you'll want to go to the light chest. Now there might not always be chests for your specific weapon or what you want. It seems seems pretty random and there's not always a ton of chests, so if you don't see the item that you want or you can't find a chest that has what you're looking for, then it's probably just not there. Again, this is mainly for an XP farm, but it's also pretty decent for gear. But that is about cover for today's video. If you like a like, like, and subscribe. Until the next one. Deuces.